Hey folks, Nas here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty for you. In this episode, we're going to go through and we're going to steal all the items in Denica. We're going to see what items that we get from Denica. We're going to talk about which items are going to be useful to actually attempt to steal. And we're going to go over the reputation loss because you do lose reputation if you're caught stealing items. That's only if you're caught. So not just because you pick up an item that's going to be stolen means that you're going to get caught each time. However, if they do see you, you do get caught, you do lose reputation. But anyway, let me go through. What I've done is I've emptied my inventory completely. That way, all we're going to be dealing with, you can see I'm even naked. I don't have any clothes on. I don't have any weapons on. I don't even have coins on me. Um, but I'm going to be going through. I'll steal all the items. That way we can see everything that we've stolen. And then at the very end, I'll try to, I'm going to go to a different village so we can sell the items and see how much coin that we make. And also having all the items on me. Now, granted, I've got, uh, I've made a new game and everything and it's got infinity weight. That way I can have all of the items on me and you can see how much weight it is taking up in the inventory to know how many trips that you're going to have to make to be able to steal everything. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let me get into this and uh, go through and take everything that I can out of Denica. So I will be right back when I'm done. Alrighty, folks, I think I have taken everything from Denica. So the list is very short. <laughs> I guess I never really stole much from Denica, so I assume there would probably be more. But anyway, we've got 32 firewood. We had 18 flax stalk. Uh, so this flax, flex, excuse me, the flax stalk can be threshed on the floor of the barn, used for crafting linen thread uh, on the spinning wheel in the sewing hut. So you can actually take the flax and craft it into thread. I don't know that you're going to get much thread. Uh, we got nine logs, six planks, seven sticks. We got 3.3 coins. We got uh, one wicker, large wicker basket. We got three wicker crates and one wooden wheel. And you can see here it's taking up 59.12 kilograms. So if you're starting out in the game and you're considering stealing any of these items, uh, I believe you start out with 35 kilograms of weight until you start adding pouches and backpacks. Um, so that will let you know how much weight you can carry if you're trying to steal this stuff. Now this is a lot of heavy stuff. So like your firewood is heavy, your logs are heavy. I mean, there's 19 and 22 kilograms right there. Uh, the wicker crates, the three wicker crates is almost five kilograms. So you, you would, you know, just stealing those three things, you would max yourself out and you wouldn't be able to walk. You would have to literally walk uh, wherever you go, you couldn't run or anything unless you came in and had a horse. If you're doing this when you have a horse, I'm not sure that you need to be stealing. Uh, I don't know that the risk is worth the reward in most cases, especially from Denica. Uh, but anyway, let me run to a neighboring town, um, like Lesnica here, right there. 
and let me see about selling these items to see how much uh, we would make if we stole all the stuff and was able to sell it. So let me run to uh, Lesnica and I'll be right back. Alrighty folks, here we are, we're at Lesnica. I'm talking to Teobald here. That way we can actually see what some of these items will sell for. So like the firewood. Uh, if we actually sold this firewood, we could actually make 32 coin because it sells for one coin each on the firewood. The flax stalk, so that sells for 2.5 and these are, we have 18 of them. So let's see, let me pull up my calculator because doing math is hard sometimes. So we'll pull up the calculator and that would be uh, actually easier way to do that. We'll just go through and we'll sell them instead of pulling up the calculator. What am I doing? Thinking like a ding -a -lang. Anyway, so we're going to do this. We're going to go F E. So we want to sell all of it. You can see right there, we're going to get 32 coin out of the firewood. Now, is it worth stealing firewood? I don't know. You get 32 coin out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be worth it if you had the weight. Uh, so the flax stalk. Now the flax stalk you can turn into thread. I don't remember how many stalk it takes to turn it into thread, but 10 is coming to mind. If you know how much flax stalk it takes to make one thread, leave it in the comments below. That way everybody knows. I just, I don't remember it and I apologize about that. But if we're selling the flax stalk straight out, we get 2.5 uh, coin each. So if we're gonna sell all 18 of those, we're gonna get 45 coin. So that's really not too bad. Uh, so if you're early in the game and you're wanting to go around and you're wanting to steal some of the items from these different towns, uh, stealing the flax stalk isn't really that bad of a deal. Um, again, you have to weigh it against whether you're going to get caught or lose the reputation or whether you're okay with that. Uh, because every time you steal, if you get caught, you do lose the reputation. Now, the logs, if you're going to steal the logs to sell, what I would do is craft these into firewood because firewood also sells for one coin just like one log but one log can get you four firewood so craft your logs into firewood before you sell them because you're going to get more coin so we're going to hold off on doing the logs for just a minute now the planks you only get two planks excuse me we got six planks and they sell for two coins a piece, so we're gonna get 12 coins for that. There it is, 12 coins. Uh, is it worth stealing the planks? Um, I believe early in the game, it's really not a bad idea. Again, as long as you don't get caught. Uh, because just from Gustovia, I think there's 23 planks that you could steal from Gustovia. And if you're building a small hut, it only takes 24 planks, if I'm thinking right, to do the upgraded roof. Uh, so you can, instead of a straw roof, you could have the wood roof, uh, because I think it's 24 planks and Gustovia has got 23, I believe, if I remember right. And then of course we had six here and you can find planks, uh, at some of the, um, abandoned carts that randomly are generated in the game now. So that's it. Planks are, are a pretty good deal. Sticks. Do not steal sticks never worth it uh in my opinion you've only got seven sticks in order to turn that stick into something that's actually going to be profitable you kind of are going to need the woodshed uh because with the not the woodshed i'm sorry the workshop uh because you can actually turn one stick into one spoon or one ladle and i believe those sell for one coin a piece uh but as far as stealing sticks, I don't think it's profitable to steal sticks at all. However, we are going to do that and we're going to sell those and we only get 0.7 coin. Again, not worth the time. Now, this large wicker basket sells for 12.5 coin. That's not bad, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So again, if you can steal it without getting caught, it's worth it because it's 12 and a half coin. And early in the game, you're trying to get as much coin as you can. Now, granted, there's other ways to make coin and stuff, but we're actually talking about stealing items of what you can steal from each little village uh, and how much they sell for. So the wicker crates, we got three of the wicker crates and they sell for 15 coins. So again, that's another 45 coin. Two items, we've made 90 coin. 
So the wooden wheel sells for 20 coins. So that's not bad. They've changed the price of the wooden wheel. That's pretty good. Because I thought the wooden wheel sold for less than 20. And I don't, I, this is a brand new game, so I don't have any diplomacy uh, skill tree stuff added or anything. Uh, but anyway, we're going to sell that. Now, these logs. So what we were talking about with these logs, let's get out of here for just a second. We're going to open our crafting wheel. We're going to go to the furniture decorations, and we'll go down here to camp. No, no, we're not building campfires. What am I talking about? We're going to go to handcrafting. <laughs> we're going to go down here to firewood. So again, if I did that too quick, you open up your crafting wheel, you go to handcrafting down here in the bottom left, swing all the way around to the bottom right uh, to where it says firewood. You hit R so you can craft multiples, and then you can hit E so you can craft all nine of those. And we're going to craft those nine firewood real quick. So instead of getting nine coin because we would sell nine logs, we're going to turn these these nine logs into, uh, what is that? 1836 firewood let, let me finish crafting these and we'll do I don't want to do the math right off the top of my head <laughs> alrighty folks so there we go we got 36 firewood out of 9 logs now we can come back here to Teobald and open up and show me your wares and see there we got 36 firewood this sells for one coin a piece. Now, if you remember, the log sold for one coin a piece as well. So now we've turned that nine coin that we were going to get from those nine logs into 36 coin. So if you are stealing logs to sell, you want to craft those logs into firewood because you definitely get more coin doing it that way. Now, we got... A total of 206.5 coin that's from selling everything and the coin that we collected from different chests within Denica now we lost we were seeing enough times to where we lost 110 dynasty reputation right over here so again you want to make sure that if you are stealing items you're not seen and just because there's somebody there doesn't necessarily mean that they're always going to see you. Most of the time they will. Um, if you're stealing items that are close to the village campfire where, say, the wandering villagers are, those guys are there all night long. They don't have a place to go and sleep at night like everybody else that lives in the village does. They have a bed to go sleep in. So if you're stealing items that are near the campfire, more chances than not, you're probably going to get seen and you'll probably lose, lose Dynasty reputation. So you want to make sure that when you are stealing stuff, you're doing it at the right times of day. So ideally, if you're going to be going inside their huts to steal items, you want to make sure everybody's at work. So they're at their workstations or whatever and they can't see you. Uh, if you're stealing at night, everybody's in bed. Ideally, you don't want to go in their huts trying to steal stuff because they're right there. Even though they're sleeping, they could see you. Also at night, you have the wandering uh, security guard guy that walks around with the torch. You want to make sure that he doesn't see you. Uh, so if you, are, if you do decide to steal items uh, from any of the villages, just do what you need to do not to get caught. Well, alrighty, folks, that is what everything we could steal from Denica. And again, if you like this episode, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Both those items definitely help this channel and they help the video out and put it out in front of other people just like yourself. And we will see you folks on the next one. You take care and happy hunting.